Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series I take a Smith account, fresh account, never paid rank before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. Uh, return 26 LP silver. Um, so on our current way of things, three wins in a row from now, hopefully we'll be able to get, uh, we'll be in promo. And I will say the annoying thing of getting placed in silver too is we can't skip anything. Um, so usually how Unranked to Diamonds work, and the reason why we can climb very quick a lot of the time, is we jump. Actually, I'm going to ban Zoe. Um, so we usually say we get placed in gold 5. We go from gold 5 to gold 3. We skip. And then we go from gold 3 to gold 1. We skip gold 2. We can't do that when you're in silver 2, because there's nothing to skip to. You can't skip directly to gold 5. You have to do that placement. So we're going to have to go from silver 2 to silver 1, and then silver 1 to gold 5, and then, then start hopefully skipping gold 5 to gold 3, gold 3 to gold 1. And yeah, so it's it's a bit annoying, but it's just the way that it goes. Uh, what am I going to pick? Uh, I don't know. What donated champions do I have? Uh, is there anything that I want to play? Mm, Lux. Could do Lux. Blind picking. But like Again, it could be a Yasuo. It might not be. It might be. Uh, that is one of the annoying things with champions like Yasuo is that they can go multiple positions. Uh, or should we do Cassio? Yeah, let's do Cassio up here. Let me lock in. God, it wasn't let me lock in. What the hell was wrong with that? Ah! Uh, exhaust for now. Again, ex you'll see a lot of people run exhaust on Cassio because it's all about getting close to people. And she has a problem with getting close to people. That's why you even go phase rush because it's all about movement speed. Movement speed is celerity. Scorch for poke. So, uh, yeah, no, Cass is cool. I haven't played her in a really long time, but she's awesome. Um, It's between these two. Presence of mind or triumph? What do I want? <sighs> Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go for presence of mind because if you kill, like Cassiopeia is quite mana intensive, and if you manage to kill somebody, and then you like because you're spamming so much mana while you're killing somebody, you can try and get that all back, which is kind of cool. Um, based on the comp, I'm against a Yasuo mid, which is fine with me. I could go ignite, but I think exhaust will be actually equally as useful to killing him. Um, what's our comp? Oh, okay. So they're trading. So it's uh. Misfortune and Lulu bot lane. Vi jungle, Malphite top with a Cassiopeia mid. That's not a bad comp. It's good in protecting a, a Misfortune who's immobile. It's good at engaging with Vi and Malphite. It's good at uh, skirmishing because you've got like little dueling spells. That's actually a really balanced comp. I'm impressed. That's a really good draft. Uh, where their comp is obviously a lot more AD intensive. Oh, they need to trade. Oh, please say they trade. Uh-oh. Okay, they did. Woo! Um, we'll talk about their comp when we get in-game, because that panicked me. But let's play Cassiopeia, which is, again, another donated champion. Okay, welcome to the game. Today we're playing Cassiopeia, a donated champion in the Unranked Diamond series. Um, just to kind of say, there are a couple gold people in the game already, so it does show our Mamar is already climbing. And uh, what I will say is, I'm not... It might have... Like, I don't know when I'm going to do it, but as a second video of the day, it, it, very soon... I'm going to do a video talking about placement games uh, and discussing them of how they work. Because <clears throat> some people I have seen have already been a little bit confused going, well, how did you get Silver 2? I got this. Or how did your main account get Platinum 1? I got this. Uh, so we'll do a league discussion talking about all placements and that type of thing. Because I think that's just suitable uh, this time of the year, beginning of the season, relatively. Uh, a couple of things to note. Um, no Kleptomancy on Ezreal. It's gone press the attack. I still think, like, th this is the new patch and Klepto obviously got nerfed, but I still think Klepto probably is Ezra's best rune. Uh, and al and also Fleet Footwork, but she hasn't gone the Targons. Is Fleet Footwork worth doing? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, if she's going for it, it depends what build. Again, I don't think Fleet Footwork is that good on MF if you're going the lethality, just pure AD build. Um, I definitely think uh, Arcane Comet is probably better. But we're against a Yasuo. Um, I, I don't know when I last played this matchup. A while ago. Let's just get rid of his passive. Oh, I have to remember Cassio's damage is ridiculously low with E when you don't have poisons. It's basically an auto attack worth. So I just have to keep that in mind when I am doing my thing. Okay, so my goal is to basically dominate the lane phase uh, as much as I can. 
but level two will most certainly help with that if I hit it. Uh, obviously, I didn't go ignite, but exhaust is basically as good as ignite when it comes to something like a Yasuo, because you're keeping him close to you as a Cassiopeia, which you want, and it lowers his damage and uh, gives you all that lovely good stuff. Nice. I've got to be careful of my mana, though. You'll notice my mana is uh, quite hungry as a Cassiopeia. It's the biggest thing. Again, I'm not a Cassiopeia expert. I've played her throughout the years, not religiously or anything. Um, but whenever I see Cassiopeias, the biggest thing they seem to struggle with is uh, mana. But you do get refunded if you last hit with your E, by the way. I'm not sure if you get fully refunded. Let's just stop him basing. But it's like close enough to be full. Not laying in base. Again, you if, if you want control of a lane, you dictate when someone goes back. Me stopping him just them two times makes him stay. But controlling your lane any way possible. Did Vi take the red? Did the red's still up. What the? That's weird. Um, so yeah, she's stealing that, which is lovely. My mana is very low. Get that auto attack, get rid of his passive instantly. I missed my Q, which is not good for mana. Top lane, good flash play. Oh, she attacked the wrong thing. But the red buff got the kill. Oh, that's the first whirlwind I think he hit on me. Oh, he missed the cannon. Get rid of his passive. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't think that would kill him. <laughs> oh, he's raging. That's a good sign for me. Also, his wall wasn't there. What he's thinking is the wall was that way. It was lengthways, so it's the, it's the thinnest it could be to protect you. If it was side on, then it would have protected him, but it was lengthways, so my auto attack, I think what killed him, uh, went past it to like the right hand side. Uh, the, the wall didn't help him basically at all. But yeah, the flash was bad. I, I didn't think it was the poison was going to actually finish him off, I'm going to be honest, but it did. Which, uh, yeah, I don't know actually how it did that, but sure. Again, I don't play Cassiopeia, so I don't know the damage output. So that's why you're like, Huzz, why did you flash? Because I didn't know what the damage was. <laughs> Rip. I will, oh yeah, I forgot to say what lane was I going to be nervous about. Bot lane. It's a brand support, and I think brand is pretty good at the moment, to be honest. Right, we're going to go the tier build. Uh, depends what else do I want to do, though. Um, do I want to go the rower? Yeah, I think rower. Oh my god. Please. There we go. Uh, yeah, Roa, <coughs> tier Roa, basically just going to standard build. Uh, but I like that he's all typing. Again, people have asked me th for ages, why if I don't really type in all chat? It's it's extremely rare for me to type in all chat. And most of the time that it's all chat, it's saying hi if someone's recognized me on the enemy team. Why do I have all chat on? To see that type of thing. To see that. That's what I like. I don't like that she's basing in the lane. Keep your enemies close. If he's... Is there a Sedge in there? No. Okay, push this up. And don't let him back this way. Really zone him from the lane. Again, control the lane is also controlling where you let them come back. When, you, when they go back, everything. Sedge was mid, so I'd had to back off properly. I would have actually liked to pressure him there, but... 
Unfortunately, it wasn't to be because Sejuani came at a bad time. Because if he went on me there, that was a lot of minions to attack him, and that would have been ideal. Go down. Wait with a Vi and then I'll go in. Hmm. She went for the wrong person. Take the free kill on Maokai, not the guy near the tower. That's annoying from the Vi. That was just greedy play. Wow. How do I how do I follow up when you use flash and ultimate? How the hell am I going to get there? The answer is you don't. She said I'm out. Oh! That was close. Yes, lucker for not finishing me off. And people use luck for the weirdest terms of League of Legends. I made a mistake, but you're lucky. What? If you didn't make a mistake, I wasn't al wasn't alive. It was your mistake that made me live, not the fact that luck. Luck plays a very little role in League of Legends. A lot of people think it's a big thing in League. It's a very, very small thing, actually. They got, like, well... I will say luck is going up in League of Legends because their design is actually pretty bad moving forward in the game. Uh, it was kind of in Season 1 and Season 2, there were a lot of luck aspects. They removed those at the end of Season 2 and Season 3, and they seem to be bringing them back. Uh, you know, Zoe is a massively luck champion based on what Ws you get. Dragons, RNG, if your team is snowballing and you manage to get all Infernal Dragons, that's luck. Um, I did ping, but I don't think he paid attention. Hopefully he just survives, but I don't think he's gonna. Nope. People not listen to pangs. But yeah, unfortunately this is a typical Yasuo player. It, it, it is a bit cringy. Um, but, you know, Yasuo does attract weird people. <laughs> I was trying to, like, how do I say this without sounding really bad? Weird is probably the okay word to use. A lot of the people that I always find like Yasuo are the same people that would love to star in their own anime. Nothing about, about anime, by the way, but I'm just saying. Yeah. He pings me now when I pinged before you died. Oh, I'm on my way, bot lane. Again? Why does Sedge keep, like, ulting me? Like, she really wants to kill me, so I presume she's annoyed. But Brand's 5-0. and oh. Please don't say this is another loss. I'm fed up with losing on this account. Uh... Again, if I time that well in late game, it means Yeso can't even ult, which is pretty big. She's going now. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, he didn't ult me? This Vi is very squishy. Wait, he got top tower. What the hell? How did he get top tower that quick? I have pinged again, but he- The Malphite just doesn't listen! He's got ult, so he should be able to just ult away. Just ult away. Why flash when you could ult? I don't know. Yeah, 
If we get to the um, brand, by the way, before he gets his ult off, we one-shot him. Because it's the biggest negative of brand is that he has, he's very easy to kill. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go back, though. By my rower. Again, I want this to get scaling. I need to get strong. Uh, just to remind everybody, again, that, that whenever there's Cassiopeia gameplay, there's always one person. You can't buy boots on Cassiopeia. So if you're like, Huzz boots! You can't get them. <clears throat> oh! Should have pressed R maybe a little bit earlier. And now she's running to die? Eesh, that was bad play. Yeah. Sadly, I couldn't have got to him in time. Yeah, the Vi died again. This Vi, unfortunately, is just a little bit too Rambo. I don't know what the polite word to say is. Rambo, I guess. She goes in when it's probably a bad idea to go in. And it's just causing her to die over and over and over again instead of actually getting kills, which you want, obviously. I don't know if I can do this. Very easy to stop. He used E. Damn, was that double exhaust? What happened? I didn't know. I didn't get double exhausted. Wait, did I? No, I couldn't have. Am I going mad? Wait, did she use Q? Okay, good. That's a good kill. Did she use Q to get to him? And then... I don't know. Eh, it's good that I got one of them, I guess. And an exhaust. I want to watch that back. Either I'm going mad or I don't know. Uh, how's the old Malphite doing? He's doing fine. He's ahead in farm. Mid lane, we're slightly ahead. Bot lane, they're even. So the game isn't going bad. It's just, I think there's just been a bit too much Rambo effect going on. People going in, you know, mainly the bit, the Vi. Going in when she shouldn't. Obviously, Lulu has also died four times when her name is Lulu. So, you know, if you're on your champion and you're dying a lot, obviously something's gone a bit wrong there. Um, but yeah. Our grouping is actually pretty damn strong, so hopefully, even though we haven't had a perfect lane phase, hopefully we'll be able to bring it together. That is a weird play. So Malphite teleported really far away from the tower. Okay, okay, okay. Please! Please, Malphite! Please wake up! Oh my god, he was like a fall, like fast, fast asleep there. Holy moly, he could have stopped um, the Yasuo even ulting on anything. Woo! That gave me a bit of a fright, I'm not gonna lie. Oh god, don't stand still and type great! Grounded, dude. Grounded is so... So if you don't know, Cassiopeia's W. Miasma, is it called? Miasma. When you have that on the floor and if people are standing on it, they can't leave it. Only uh, from running out. You can't flash from it. You can't use an ability. Um, like a jump like Ezreal E. He can't E out of it. Yasuo can't dash in it. It's like it keeps people still. Oh, God, it's Lulu. Uh, so it's really actually effective against a lot of their team comp. Are they both dying? Sejuani. A tank. <laughs> that was a bad win war. Damn. If he just turned and then I got that stun, he was dead. Guess we're getting mid tower. Yeah, to get mid and then infernal. Huh. 
<sighs> Is there a little plant by any chance? We need four people. Or oh, five would be even better, huh? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he flashed away. This could be messy. Not the best misfortune ult, but they're running into it. Die, you oversized pussy cat tree. Good. Not bad. Four, we might ace them, but I doubt it. Like, Malphite can't dive the Sejuani to kill her. The Sejuani's actually pretty strong. But that's a kill. That's four kills for one. Vi died. Um, but we get Infernal as well. That was good. That was really good. Cool. Well done. The reason why I also picked Cassio into Yasuo, I have mentioned it before, but even if a Yasuo gets strong, uh, Cassiopeia is one of the best champions versus him. The grounded W, he basically stops a Yasuo in his tracks from ulting. If he knocks somebody up, but he's on top of Cassiopeia W and he spams R, the ult doesn't go off. He can't ultimate. It's really good uh, versus uh, Yas. So that's, that is also part of the reason why I even picked um, Cassio in the first place. Just very effective in this matchup. Not even just in the 1v1, just very effective in, like, grouping. Uh, but then when you look at their comp, I stop a Sejuani using Q, I stop an Ezra using E, I stop the Yasuo ulting or using E. That's all really good. Some people say, oh, so she's OP then. No, she does have her weaknesses. She's very immobile. You get punished very easily um, for being lack of mobility. Oh. Damn, Vi was nowhere near. Ah. I wasn't expecting him to be in that bush. I thought he was running all the way down, but no, he did he did actually wait. Which is unfortunate. Miss Witchin' ult? That was a stupid thing. Alright, Malphite did go on the back line, killed him, but then Malkai went on our front line. That wasn't good. So the basically the opposite of what just happened to us, uh, to them, just happened to us. That's not good. Um, yeah. The wind wall kind of hurt the misfortune a lot. Wait, what? Oh. Also, I don't know if the Vi should have gone on the brand. God, that brand does so much damage because he's so fed. Again, the brand is basically going to be doing equal damage to me at this point in the game because they fed him really badly in bot lane. Which is annoying because it means they basically have another mid laner. Hell, the, the brand's already doing the most damage in the game. To be honest. Okay. You can set up a play down in bot lane. No eating for you, buddy. Oh, my, my thingy was on the wrong button. I was like, where's my shield? It's on the different button. Malphite killed one person and in a 2v1. It's pretty good. He killed the Yasuo. That's all we need him to do. Like, why is the Sejuani helping like that when this is going on in bot lane? Don't know if we can get it. 
being hit by main. Alright. That'll do. Well done. That's good. Alright, let's move that to a button I actually use. Oh, they do know we're here. We're getting it chased. I wonder if a teleport's going to be somewhere. Probably not. Just in case. <coughs> no. Nope. Good. Alright, let's sell this. Can we buy this now? Nah. Close, but no cigar. Ludens would be nice for the next team fight. Uh, that was good, though. <clears throat> the W really hurts the Ezreal. My, my W, so he can't E around. Really good. I literally got, got him in the middle of it, so he couldn't really run out of it either very easily. And I'll be buying Ludens. And then uh, Riley. So then they're even slowed when they're standing on top of it. Really nice combo. She should... Oh, are they not... are they doing that? No. Oh my god, they are. I was like, wait a minute. We got the Baron. Yeah! Hell yeah, dude. We aced them. Got the Baron. I, th I was like, wait. They are around that area. Where are they? They surrendered. Holy moly. Wow. There we go, baby. That was a good call. I was like, they have to be there. Like At a certain stage, I was like, wait. It just makes sense if they're there. So there we go. The enemy team got so demoralized. Four of them at least got so demoralized after that play that they're like, ah, see you later. Uh, I'm going to give it to the Malphite. He just did his own thing, and he did relatively well. So we got an S-. minus. We're the only person on our team to get an S score at all. Uh, so we went 9, 3, 5, 1, 5, 5 farm, plus 28, and then damage done doing the second most with uh, Misfortune doing the most. That ultimate, our Baron, probably just made her numbers just go... Uh, and then Brand, as I said, Brand doing the most damage in the game. Brand support, as I mentioned, without Sight Stone, so you don't need to put 800 gold into a Sight Stone anymore. I think it's the rise of Brandon's support. He does so much true damage, uh, percentage health damage and stuff. So you don't need to have crazy amount of items to do damage as Brand, which makes for a perfect support. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, throw a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't. That was the Cassiopeia as the donated champion. Game ended pretty quick after that play. So it's a bit like, wait, what just happened? Uh, someone like, you know, went to the bathroom but left the game playing. They'd be like, wait, what happened? Uh, but if you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Any off meta stuff you want me to play. Uh, again, just to remind everybody, this series is unranked to diamond and off meta to diamond. About, you know, again, a lot of people have different definitions of off meta. Off meta doesn't mean troll. It basically means not popular. Cassiopeia is kind of off meta. When was the last time you see a Cassiopeia in your games? I haven't seen one in the whole of season eight. So that kind of counts. Uh, but we will do some like, off meta builds and that type of thing as well upcoming. Um, but yeah, two more wins in a row when we get into promo. As I hope you guys are enjoying. Throw a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.